So yeah, we're back here to clear out the rest of the storage unit. Um, you're gonna see, this is part two. You don't have to see the first part, just give you a little bit of the background. A 10 by 30 that I won for $120. And now I gotta get it all cleaned out. Got some friends coming to help. So before I crack this open, we're gonna be moving some stuff, going through everything, and hopefully get this thing totally cleaned out. So work day first, get all of this wicker furniture out. So we're gonna do that. And then I got some reinforcements coming to help. All right, wicker's all loaded up. Let me get these totes. What do you think we'll get out of here? This is all bonus material in here, so let me go drop this first load off and then the reinforcements will arrive and uh, you get to be along with the journey. We're going to get as much of this done as we can today. Well, we found video games. Mm -hmm. Get out. Uh, Atari. Oh. Not the greatest. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, it looks like a... Yeah, oh, it is a helmet. It's not. <laughs> That's E.T. Look. <coughs> oh. Thank you. Can I bring it with me? Smell it? No. Move the top left corner. This? Oh, door. Yeah, no, you get a car hard in the hood, should be alright. Yeah. Oh. King of the Mountain. Woo. Alright, mountain man. No, that's cool. Oh man, these are just coated in dust. I see that. These have not seen the light of day since they were thrown back here. And I'm standing on solid bags. <laughs> oh man. All right. Please not more books. CMP That's a cool shirt. Thank God. <laughs> oh yeah, that is cool. We are the world. Alright, blankets. I see a blanket that's not not in bad shape. This bag was never ripped. Yeah. Babe. Can we bring that back to life? It is. Oh, be one of the big animals. No. Man. Teddy bears. Man, if that was like the big tiger blanket. That's another bag of socks. All right, is nobody, there's nobody over here, right? Pushing this thing over. Rotate like one, one kid's shirt and put it up there 20, mm -hmm. 25 bucks. Yeah. Kid's NASCAR shirt. Yep. Gone instantly. Yep. Because people want, you know, like, oh, they, they there's, want their there's kid one. to wear the, ma the matching right. NASCAR shirt with them, you know. And I don't care, there's a kid no about it. Alright. <laughs> I knocked my item off the bucket list. What is that? Found my nineties moo moo. You probably will. <laughs> She'll be like, getting ready for bed. I'm about to get to that point. These are all super old. These are kids. Mm-hmm. They're cool. This colorful, shiny garment. Like this? 
Like that's that. that's like that's good old 90s right there. Oh There you go. WWF. There you go. Freeze tag. See. Good there's some hope. There's hope. You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Get out of my so head, dude. Saying, I was literally saying the same thing. So you're, you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, see, somebody would have wore that jumper right there. Yeah, yeah this is those are cool. this is 90s. This is 90s. We have a bona fide wrestling tee. Uh oh. We got Nike? Uh oh. Uh oh. I see it in. We hit a money box. It's peeling a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good tag right there. Bugle Boy, dead stock. Oh, wow. The whole fit, though? Actually, this is actual military. Is it? Yeah. Izod. Uh oh. Tyco ski roll game. If it's all there. Thank you, thank you. Some old phone. Old phone. Yeah, some of this stuff can be soaked. Some of this stuff can be soaked in several days. <laughs> Oh, you got the truck keys. Oh. Just I'm gonna try to open up this box. Oh, here you go. <laughs> I gave you mine too. <laughs> is that what it is? Thank you. Yeah, they are. That is cool. Okay. Uh -uh. Do you? Okay. No, not much on the elastic waistband. <laughs> Lots of notebooks, lots of paper. Another keyboard. Yeah, all of these shoes. Then ice. Yeah. <laughs> Little Mickey suspenders. Yep. Oh, I don't care, bag. <laughs> All star. <laughs> All over print. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Rug rats tennis. Another rug rats.
Another Rugrats. A lot of Angelica. Oh, that's cool. Uh huh, that's clean. There you go. Oh, yeah. Still peeling apart. Oh, you want this one? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to shovel this behind me. What's this one, Steve? Find that monster from Star Wars where they were in the trash compact, you know? Yeah. Nike Primo. Tutlex. Toltex? That's not bad. Blank? Yeah, Toltex, extra oh, yeah. large. Oh, yeah. I like that thing. I like blanks. I wear a lot of blanks. All over print. Dress, okay. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. What are we gonna do with the. It's just coinage. Yeah. It's still money. Got it. Some pennies. Making our money back. Yep. 24 hours later. before I totally clean it out might pay out oh man mothers are special this unit was pretty good to us so Clean out some of the big stuff, the little stuff, and uh, might be able to close the doors. just catch you up real quick on just covering with you quick as I can all the great stuff we pulled out of that storage unit and then I'm gonna kick it back to the old slightly bearded me because I did show you that we did clear it out right where we left off that TV uh, I found one sold comp on worth point now that one did turn on you could see some of the the lines on the, the screen is a three screen TV. Can't remember the name, but I'll put that sold comp up here. It sold 10 years ago for $800. Now you saw in the video, there is proof. It did slightly turn on. Um, I hate to tell you, it didn't turn on any after that. I got it to turn on like four or five times. Could just be a technical little issue, but I think it might still sell in that condition. 
the wicker chairs i can't forget those those kind of what you know kick the video off those wicker chairs will bring in the money you know we're 120 dollars for the unit plus all of the dumpster hauls we are totally all in at about 300 dollars and three days worth of work that is a big factor on cleaning all that stuff out and i had great people help me but for 300 dollars just one of those peacock chairs will come close to paying for that yes those peacock chairs go for really good money we can sell those locally we've sold one in the past for i think 325 so we got two of those they do have condition issues so i'm fine if i get 200 dollars for them that's great because that other low back chair and the table will bring in at least another 150 dollars but that wasn't all i'm gonna slowly you know when I saw this and I found this little Rugrats tape, yes, I think it was from McDonald's or Burger King, it just gave me a good sign. So let me show you some of the other finds. This isn't even the, the eBay shed. No, this is just some of the small stuff. Rebecca helped us out and pulled a lot. And these totes, some of the stuff we're gonna keep, it's cool, like little knickknack stuff. I pulled this thing out, believe it or not, this will, still sell for about $25. This small wicker chair with this teddy bear, you know, probably around Valentine's Day. There's the TV. Well, you better start working, okay? But yes, now we are in the shed. We just found a lot of smalls to sell. This little Minnie Mouse backpack, it has the coin purse inside. A lot of Tweety Bird plush this is new with tags it's got no tags on this one tags on this one uh new old stock men's briefs still gotta look this gunned bear up but really cool stuff in here i mean this was the kind of stuff that i like like this look at that a little lil stamper this was just really cool, nostalgic stuff. We'll get some sales off of this. You know, I haven't gone through everything, but the thing that blew my mind, you know, like I said, $300 investment. Let me show you the last thing that was kind of shocking to me that will pay for this entire unit. It's back in the house. So let me get back in there. Oh, but just for a second. Yeah, there you go. Just nice little sunset coming down over the trees and the pond. Anyway, enough of that. Let me get right in. All right, here we are. So, this stuff right here. Some old 80s style sheets. Those aren't going to go for a ton. This is really cool. 1988 California Raisins. I think it's a twin size sheet. We have, I don't want to get to it, but we have the complete set, the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and the two pillowcases. I think it'll go for about 30 bucks, which is pretty cool. Another nice 80s style. This we didn't get in that haul. That's something I got from another free pickup. It's a kid's Carhartt overalls. But look at these kid shirts. Nala and Simba. Check that out. Now, I saw these and they were just so classic that my wife was even like, I don't care, just pick them up. We just washed them. The dryer just scared me. Uh, but we've been going off, uh, getting a lot of these here recently. There, I'll stop that for a second. I'm glad we looked these up. Some of these kit shirts go for like $20 to $30. Little Rugrats headband. The other California Raisins sheet. This is just another great free pickup. We got all kinds of stuff mixed up in here. Check these out. I have a set of these pillowcases. Totally 80s. Nice robots, really cool looking. So I have a set of these, not everything's in order. This is actually going to 
our sun. Look at that nice 2001 SpongeBob. These right here. This is when I need to insert the wow moment. Check this out. Sailor Moon 1995. Sailor Moon pillowcases. Yes, pillowcases. This one pillowcase goes for 40 to 50 dollars. And guess what? We have two of them. So I'm gonna find the other one in here. More of these 80s style sheets. Look at this cool Rugrats shirt. Like I said, if I get another 10, 15 bucks, that's really cool. This right here, this one is super cool. Look at this old McDonald's pillowcase. This is the only one. Look how creepy the Hamburglar looks. But a McDonald's pillowcase. Really creepy, really cool. Here are the uh, California Raisins pillowcases. Here are the other two space ones. California Raisins one right there. And the other Sailor Moon. I have this other set. Yes, sheets, people. Sheets. This is from 1980 Hallmark card. I have the entire set of that as well. Probably going to ask, I don't know. 25 30 bucks and then towels lion king mini mouse barbie power rangers old vintage towels this this weird little cat set i'll try to put a sold comp up there for that one all of this stuff we pulled out with the linens my favorite that we're definitely keeping space jam Pillows, look at that. Not one, but two. Space Jam. We got these cleaned up. They look incredible. Mickey Mouse. Look at that little fanny pack. I was just amazed at all of these like linens that we found. We found for like just going through some bags. That pile that I just showed you is going to be well over $300 in easy shippable items. L easy listable, you know, laying whole sheets out. That's a little fun for photos, but to ship towels and vintage kid shirts. There were some good vintage adult shirts. I'll put some of those up here. Todd over at Last Pick Vintage. Uh, part of what he did is he helped me out and I was, hey, grab whatever ones you could get. He paid me like 20 bucks to take everything that he wanted out of there. And he helped me take a lot of stuff to the dump and go through all the stuff. So I'm gonna put a few of his shirts up here. He got some really good finds. I think he found a $100 Stone Cold shirt. So he did really, really good and just a great day. I think we definitely wanna do another one. I know I said think, definitely. No, we definitely. Let's let's just be confident with that. We definitely want to do another storage unit, but I'll kick it back over to Josh and let him close out the video. Yeah, the 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 bearded Josh. Yeah, that one. Not that one. Not Harry Tornado. That you'll see. Ba bam. There we go. This thing. They said don't worry about sweeping it, but yes, everything out of there. One last piece here which I put on Facebook Marketplace. I had like nine people interested. It's in pretty good shape. I said 25 bucks, come pick it up. So waiting on somebody to pick it up now. And then the first storage unit is done. Um, just wanted to say thanks for hanging out. Maybe you're into this. If you want to see another storage unit video, I had a lot of fun. Super big shout out once again to Todd over at Last Pick Vintage for helping out, good buddy. And Rebecca, my inventory specialist. Uh, she's just, she loves digging and treasure hunting as well. So just big thanks to them. Thanks to my beautiful wife also, who just backs me entirely, helps out with what we do in this business. She says, this isn't even my cup of tea, but loves the finds that we have. And we're working on getting all that stuff worked out now. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. 
And uh, just be sure to tune back in. We love you guys. We love this community. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye.